Say less. What's going on, everyone? I, I can't do it, y'all. I, I can't do it. I don't know. I honestly feel like I'm 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 losing it in, in this society where I I watched the Breakfast Club today, right? With Malik Yoba, whatever the dude name is. Um, I believe it's Malik, and they're having their trans conversation. And let me start off by saying, y'all, you are allowed to like who you want, to be with whomever you want to be with, to live whatever truth. You're allowed to live your life to me any way you want, as long as it's not affecting anyone. And no, I'm not talking about me walking down the street and seeing two gay people kissing. That's not my business, and it has no effect on me. I'm not talking about that. You're allowed to live your life, have your truth, et cetera, et cetera. Think of, of yourself whatever you want to think. But the moment you infringe, right, and start saying things that's not true about people that I am a community of, right, when we start making these generalizations about black men and... Com- there's so many issues with this interview. Like, I got up to, like, the 20-minute mark. There's so many lies within there. So many things that aren't true. And I want to tackle the big one. Like, there's, 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 like, so many different... Like, him saying he believes he's a heterosexual male, even though he likes trans... No. That's gay. If you like trans women, which is your right, I, I'm not bashing you. I don't care. But you're gay. All right? You like... That's just, I, I, I don't know how to explain it other than you like the same sex or somebody that used to be the same sex as you. That is gay. Period. All right. Like, but whatever. You're allowed to call yourself whatever you want, but we're not going to change society to still count that trans women. God bless them. They're not women, man. There are straight men who want nothing to do with that, which goes back to the biggest problem, which is. What I really want to talk about this notion that it's unsafe for gay people or trans people within a black community is bogus. It is completely bogus. And I will elaborate as to why. Right. When you're trying to because the the narrative is you're blaming straight black men for the violence on these um, gay trans women or trans women, whatever. Right. But that doesn't it does not compute for Really one simple thing. A straight black man isn't around trans women. If the dude is messing with you, he's gay. So it's people within your own community, right? Whatever violence that comes, it's coming from people within your own community. Because if he's dealing with you, if he's getting mad enough to kill you, right? That means you have to have some type of personal relationship, right? This is like saying everything is true. That means he was gay, that's the people in your community. That's not straight black society. Like straight black men, like mind you, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna speak for straight black men for a second. I don't go around and see a trans woman and I'm like, all right, time for me to go get her. You look at some of the people that are the staunchest critics that go the most against like you know homophobia. They're gay themselves. They like, like if you if you really want to break it down, think about it. Some of the harshest politicians that are so anti-gay, you come to find out they were gay themselves. A lot of the a lot of the damage that gets done to the homosexual community is from y'all. It, it's because the thing about like straight people, we don't really care. We just don't want that shit put in our face. Like trying to say that, oh man, like yeah, like y'all call for the violence. They said something where it's like, okay, white people get to come out, but like, black people can't. And I'm just like, what are you talking about? Atlanta has a bunch of gay people and nobody cares. There's rappers. What's the name? Lil Nas X coming out talking about some. Well, yeah, you know, it, I, I was in the hood. So like, what are you? T- There's gay niggas all over the place and nobody cares about y'all. Y'all literally get to do whatever you want and nobody gives two shits. Like, let, let, let's keep it all the way 100. No, There's rappers like Lil Uzi, all, all these dudes wearing rocking purses. Nobody cares anymore. Like, that, like th- this excuse that y'all try to do to blame black straight society on all this. Like, it, it worked maybe in the 90s, but it's dead now, man. There's nothing you can't do except force us to just act like y'all regular women. Like that, that's, that's the only shit that y'all missing because you can't pin the violence on us because how does a straight, right, black man end up messing with you, right? Like how does, like, we're talking about somebody, because again, the moment that's going on, he's gay, that he's, he's one, one of you, one of us, like, yeah, like, like that shit, he's one of y'all. So you can't pin that on straight black society. And if he didn't know, like, no, he was straight, he didn't know I was trans, and then something ends up happening to you, well, you should have probably told that motherfucker, man. Truth be told. Like, so, no matter how you slice it or dice it, 
That's not our community holding you back. I mean, it's just, it's a lie. It's it's a legitimate lie, man. There's not hunting and gathering. There's not black people getting together just out looking for trans people. It doesn't happen. That's bogus, man. Like, come on. We, this, this is why, like, their movement is a dangerous movement because, yo, they're lying. They're just flat out lying. A lot of the violence come within your own community. When you you, you want to say, well, it's because um, guys are afraid to come out and be themselves. The worst thing that's going to come out right now, right? And they even said it. If you're from the hood and say, hey, you like trans women, you're going to get clowned. You're going to get laughed at. You're going to get mocked. You're going to get bullied, right? People, if, if you come out right now with all your friends and say, hey, you like trans women, they're going to make fun of you. That's it. If I walked outside in a chicken costume, I would get made fun of too. But like, that's not persecution. I mean, even, even like their own words, I forgot which one of them said it, right? Was like, yeah, if you come out and say like you like trans women, you'll get clowned. That's, that's your struggle? Getting made fun of? That's that's the big thing, like 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 that's what you really have to look out for. That the, the, the quote unquote hood friends that you have, these people that are so unrelatable to you, or apparently that relatable to you. Like if they're if they're your friends like that, right, and they clown you, that that'll be it. Okay, you get clowned. Like, I get clowned all the time. Like I'm bald and my friends clown me. Like like I'm trying to understand. Like I, I'm trying to get it. Like if they're your friends, you're gonna get clowned. Especially, if, yes, if you say something like that, yes, you will get clowned, but you know, it's not like they're going to start beating you up. Like, come on, like, let, let, let's not be facetious. Let's not start lying, man. Now, like, the worst case scenario, okay, they might not want to be around you anymore. Then that means they want your friends in the first place. So the, the worst thing, that, so basically, right, I, I, I mentioned that to bring back to the whole thing. When you look at the violence, right, you're trying to say, here's a problem, y'all. It's normal. There's nothing wrong with it. You guys are just like other people. Then you got to take responsibility for it just like other people, right? Because somebody might get clowned, right, for liking trans, is not, and not or trans women, whatever, right? It's not an excuse for them to end up murdering you, right? That's like, like that, doesn't go, that doesn't go fall back on straight society. That falls back on them not being acceptable, for, like not just accepting who they are. And if it's that normal, let it be normal for them. That's something y'all got to figure out within your own community. Because people aren't going, it, it, it's not the, y'all not going through what black people went through, man. Y'all like, not going through where people are preventing you from going to places, hunting you down based on your sexual orientation. Like, that's not happening. It, it's not the same as a black struggle. Like, again, if you don't say anything, most of the time people won't know. So there, there's not like this mass, massive witch hunt going around for you. So that's just how I feel, man. A lot of it is what, what it comes down to. You just want everybody to... You, you want everybody else to accept how you guys are so you can accept it yourself. That's the biggest issue, man. But no, you got you got to accept who you are. It doesn't matter if other people don't accept it. That's irrelevant. If you're living your truth, you should accept it, not be on this campaign to force everyone else to. You, The only thing that should matter is people infringing upon your rights. People not allowing you to live how you want to live in terms of things that you want to do that has no bearing or effect on other people. Last time I checked, there are plenty of places you can go to gay bar. No one's telling you you can't go to a straight bar. You know what I'm saying? Like, no one's telling you, like, you can't do this or can't do that. Like, there's really no real limitations to what you can do. So, uh, uh, again, that's that's just how I feel about it, man. And even, if, uh, for example, you look at the the, the Hollywood shooting or the or thing that happened in Orlando at the gay nightclub, which was tragic. I'm not giving a pass for that. But the dude that did it was suspect himself. He was gay himself, man. Like, I forgot why it came out. But it turns out he was... And that's what I'm talking about. A lot of the violence comes from dude within your own community. And you can't blame straight society for it because that person is gay. You guys have to do a better job of people who feel like you. Again, if it's so normal, then let it be normal, man. If it's not... And then, like, that's up to y'all to fix them. Not up to us because, what, they might get made fun of. And really, in just this day and age, man, we just got to keep it 100, yo. Like, nobody cares. Like, not really. Not to the point where it's really affecting you. Like, again, you had, what's the name? Old Time Road, Lil Nas. Yeah, like, he came out and said he was gay. And every, nothing happened. Nobody cared. Like, like, nothing changed. Like, 
um, Data Smith, isn't he messing with Tyler, the creator? Nobody cares anymore. Like, I'm sorry. Like, like nobody's like, oh, no, we got, like, like these guys come out that they're gay. Then Tyler, creator, have a number one album. Like, it, it's, I'm sorry, yo. Like, that victim thing I'm trying to do and blame black society, like, it's bogus. We don't care, all right? We don't care enough. And the most, like y'all say, the most things going to happen to y'all is get clowned. Any violence that's going to happen to you is going to come from somebody within your own community, all right, period. If he's messing, if you're a trans person and that person is messing with you, that's your community. That's not heterosexual society. That's y'all. All right. That's how I feel on that, man. I'm going to go back and try to watch the rest so that I can give it a, an accurate and full take, man. But I think most of the shit is BS, man. I'm sorry.